ready for it to go as the mass superstar hits the studio. Should be a whale of a single match, Dave. I think this ought to be a dandy. Here he comes, the Birdman, Coco Ware. Real response from the folks that are here in the studio to watch championship wrestling is the Birdman, Coco Ware. Hits the studio and we're about ready for it. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, today. Good okay, to see you. All right. Bye bye. We'll catch him a little later as he hops up at the ring and here's the introduction. All right. This one's going to be one fall, 15 minute time limit from parts unknown at 237 pounds. That is the masked superstar. And going against him from Union City, Tennessee, 222 pounds, Coco Ware. This one is going to be one fall, 15 minute time limit. Referee Jerry Calhoun. Okay, no. The outer gear of the masked superstar comes off. And bell time. We're off and running. Ought to be a dandy of a single. We're going to find out as a single wrestler just what the masked superstar has got as Coco goes in behind. Dumps him down on the takedown. He gets over to the ropes, and that'll be a break. Tell you what, you, you got to go with uh, Coco Ware as being at least a slight favorite in this one, I would think. Uh, Superstar has not been in the area that long, but uh, from what we've seen, we know what Coco Ware can do. Well, you got that right, and I guess we really ought to call him instead of the mask Superstar, Superstar number two. Number since two, the I announcement guess, yeah. uh, Dundee and and uh, mask Superstar going to team up, and Billy's going to be Superstar number one. He's going to be Superstar number two. And the ropes again provide an outlet for superstar number two. Coco circling ties it up. Yeah, you're right, Dave. I uh, I don't know that much. I've heard of his reputation and all. I've seen him for the past couple of weeks. We know that Coco is some kind of an athlete just in general and a whale of a professional wrestler in specific. And in addition to that, we know that this sucker can get mean if the necessity takes it on and will call for it where he has to. He's got one arm and a hammer and he uh, pops the other one back. He's got the uh, superstar down, face down on the mat. Well, that's going to take some work on the uh, superstar's part to get out of that. Coco putting a little uh, extra pressure on the upper part of the arm that he's got hammered up. Oh, you got that right. Big crowd today for championship wrestling is we've got a mixed man and a ladies tag match coming up as our main event of the day. We'll be seeing uh, Sherry Martell, who will be one of the ladies that will be here in the AWA Ladies World Champ. Candy Devine will be in our big main event. Coco Ware had uh, difficulty in holding. Oh, he's got that rope again. Give him credit for that. That's uh, a lot of the fans, when they don't like, you'll holler, chicken, chicken, all that. Hey, that's smart. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the easiest way uh, to get out of a hole with the least amount of damage many times. Superstar pleading his case to the crowd. I think... Uh, as has been the case in so many times past, you better concentrate on your opponent in there. Superstar's got, uh, what, 12, 15 pound advantage over Coco. Yeah, he does. He's, he has a height advantage and a sizable weight advantage on him. <laughs> Coco where? Hook that toe up there. Pull that arm back as he sat down and holds it right in the hammer position. Coco has really kept the pressure on that left arm throughout this match. We're now a little over three minutes into the fall, and Coco has, has uh, had that left arm up behind his back most of the match. It's kind of interesting sometimes, I think, Dave, to see how matches develop because Coco is primarily uh, not a mat wrestler. He's up and moving and drop kicking and he's around and boy, he can do everything in the world, including the brain buster on you. And uh, in this particular case, he's been working with the mask superstars face down and now he's with a top wrist lock. Looks like, yeah, he's going around behind again with that hammer and he puts him back down on the mat again. Hooks that toe in there and he'll sit it down on the hammer lock. Mask 
superstar. Best move thus far is getting to the rope and getting out of trouble. But Coco took him over to the rope that time. Picks him back up with a bar on the arm. And Coco fired over once again. Rolls it into a hammerlock. Tell you what, Coco, as you said, this is not generally his style of wrestling, but uh, it could be kind of like the running game and the passing game in football. If he can get the superstar thinking about that left arm and trying to protect it, that may open up uh, the drop kicks to him and uh, even the brain buster later on in the match. Good point. Well taken as Coco continues to work on that left arm. We're coming up on the five-minute mark of action. Uh, one fall, 15-minute time limit bout. The masked superstar on the deck. Coco Ware has his one arm in a hammer and the other arm hook pulling back to put pressure. Referee Jerry Calhoun, championship wrestling. In our second bout of the day, if you just joined us, you missed Scott and Steve Armstrong in an impressive win in their opening match. Once again, the rope used to good advantage by the masked superstar. Coco Ware back. The, uh, oh, the superstar is saying, get him back even further. Let me get to my feet. He's on his feet, and he's... He's thinking about that arm. He's shaking it, trying to get the circulation going back in it the right way. Coco wrapping it over the top rope. Well, obviously a call for a break, but he achieved what he wanted to. He popped that rope on that arm, and that hurt. Superstar has Coco back in the corner. That's also going to call for a break. Ooh, and not a clean one. No. As he drives a knee to the midsection of where. And then followed with a right hand across the back of the neck. Reversal by Coco. Coco Ware dropping down as uh, Bill Dundee comes out here. Yes, Bill. Uh, you had some comments to make? Yeah, I got some comments to make. I just come out here to add a little class to this show. Well, I'm not taking nothing off Coco. Coco's a great wrestler, brother, but I'm the greater one. I'm just coming out here to give you my expert opinion. Uh, well, okay. The uh, wearer of the Southern Heavyweight Belt has certain privileges which he uh, exercises, and so Bill Dundee is out here with us today. Well, Lancer, if you want any opinion on wrestling, who is the best ass in the champion, right? <laughs> saw a good wrestling move right there. It looks like uh, your new partner could use a little uh, tutelage right there. A little well, you remember the rope dope trick that old Muhammad Ali did? Uh, All he's going to do is tire Coco out, and when he tires him out, brother, he's going to beat him. Well, I hope he doesn't hold his breath till he tires Coco Ware out. Uh, well, we'll good athlete. About that, Daddy. Well, well, the superstar, too, is a good athlete. He's going to crank it up in a minute. You just wait and see what I tell you. He's driving that shoulder to the midsection right now. Nap Mares, Coco over the shoulder. And but I've never the told Coco Short, you know that Coco's a great athlete. I'll be the first to tell you that. But I just think the superstar's a little bit better. Well, he's a little bit bigger. We'll give you that much. And boy, he's got it going right now. Kind of one, too. He'll never get that, huh? Got his right shoulder up in time. But he did kind of scare uh, Coco. Big body slam from the mask. Superstar drops with another elbow. I think this is it, Lancer. Two. Oh. And Coco yeah. kicks out. Mask Superstar now making some moves on Coco Ware with a backdrop. Woo. Ware being pounded around pretty good at the moment. Coco had things going pretty well his way for a while. Now, you tell me that wasn't a good move, Lance. That's what you tell me, though. Good backbreaker. Dropped him down. Got a two count, and that's as far as he could go. I think the mass superstar stars I had, thought he had him that time, Dave. I think he did, too. I think that's the second time he thought he could hold him for the three count, and he just couldn't do it. Drops him down on the top rope, draws a reprimand from the referee. I didn't think old Harry Judy here could talk. Now he talks. I didn't know you could talk, Dave, unless you was talking about the weather. Count of one, two, and the vast superstar. He has been 
good to the two count. Tell me that, Flegel, as he kicks him with the point of the boot, you tell me that, Flegel. Well, the referee seemed to think it was the top of the boot. Where coming back. He knows how to throw that fist in. That's more the Coco style of wrestling, more fast moving. Legal, not punching like that last oh, time. Oh, it is not legal, and the referee so warned him. He's kind of paying back a little. Slips it behind. Takes him to the rope. Put me in. Oh. oh. And as the superstar kicks him out of there with that extra weight he's got. Big swap. Wait a minute, Stay away from the ring. Dundee knocked off the ring apron. Last superstar rolls in. Two, three, got him. As Dundee distracted Coco Ware, had no business on the ring apron. The mass superstar slips in behind, rolls him up into a pin, and comes out with a victory. He does indeed. The time on it was 9 minutes, 54 seconds. Okay, more action coming up. And don't forget the mixed man and ladies tag match later in the match. And Coco Ware is defeated.